welcome, welcome. Thanks for tuning in once more to Hummingbird Forex. I am Humble J and I'll be walking you through my setups that gave me wonderful trades yesterday, which is the 16th of May, and today, the 17th of May. Trading gold. These are all the trades that I took between yesterday and today. They were mainly taken on the London session, which I prefer to trade when I'm trading gold. These are all the trades that I took between yesterday and today. As you can see, my first two trades, they were not as I expected. This one and also this one, these two were unsuccessful. As you can see, I managed to minimize my losses. And if you're paying close attention, you can see that my profits exceeded my losses. And that is because I had, I would say, good or proper risk to reward management. Now follow me on over to trading view where I will be showing you how I took these trades and how I knew which directions these trades were heading into. Now we are here on trading view. Here we are on trading view. We'll be going through gold. So you can see exactly how I set up these trades before I took them. For the analysis, I'll be starting from the daily time frame and explain my way down to the 15 or the 5 minutes time frame where I am most comfortable. Take we are now on trading view. We are looking at the XAUUSD chart, gold. And we can clearly see that we have two parallel black lines running to the downside. One and two. Right? Now these two lines are indicating to me that price is moving to price is moving to the downside. Right? We're heading down. We've seen this. I like to go to my forward time frame and make sure that what I'm seeing here is indeed what I'm seeing on the daily time frame. Being okay with that, I would have seen my levels and I know that I do not have very much of any significant levels. But as I drop the one further to the one hour time frame, I observed that price was interacting with more than one levels. So we would have had a peak right here. So that's one peak right here too and another peak right here making it the third peak now this raised my interest because I could clearly see that there was another trend line there which was heading in the downward direction as on the air time frame All right when I saw that I looked for the lowest I should say the lower low on the chart 
which held price at that time. Let me place a, a vertical line here just to avoid confusion. This is where I took my trade, so I do not want it to be confusing. Let's place a vertical line there. Good. On to my M5. Now I will be showing you why I took the sell when I did, which resulted in a successful trade. Let me mark for clarity that this is still the week on the higher time frame. Let's confirm if that is so. Yes, that is so. That is our week on the higher time frame. So whether we confirm in order for us to take a sell trade, this dark area that I have here to mark is a area of support. It extends further beyond where we are looking at, but because we are using a mobile device, we won't be able to capture all the levels or all the indicators that indicate that this is a support area. Here we are. So I don't want to jump all the way down yet, but in this area, right on this candle right here that broke through my support zone which I had broke through their support zone this dark area right here when the candle close I opt to take a sell trade when I saw what was happening I have to take a sell trade right here boom this is a hundred and thirty pips or twenty pips all the way down to the floor of our trend line And my stop went just above, just above the area of support, which turned to resistance after the break.